Come on. Let's go get in the water. Oh, great job. Oh, that'll be fine. He'll get tired really quick. Look at him, he's scared. Everybody. <laughs> I'm back <laughs> for a little video. I'm gonna unbox this nonsense real quick. Cross one my house. Say you. First thing is you got your little screen. <whistles> then you open this box here. I haven't even opened this yet, so this is going to be interesting. It's all plastic wrapped. So the big thing about this coming open is this little thing right here. It's a 2 gig SD card. I ain't going to focus. has all my tunes on it. And then this has obviously been opened as well because they have to put this part in it. Let me get all this unwrapped and I will explain what we got here. All right, so I'm sure there's a thousand videos like this on YouTube already, but I wanted y'all to hear it from me as some sort of an expert. <laughs> Not an expert. So, OBD2. Can't tell because of the light. There we go. Then this hooks in the back of this module these two per the video I'm sure everybody's seen hooking it all up that goes there all right so initial quality is about that of a Garmin GPS size wise once I get it installed everybody will see it's exactly the size of my Garmin movie 690 uh, as far as cords it's probably got 10,000 times more cords, but they feel pretty solid. All the connectors are pretty solid. The only thing that I, I would say they messed up with is this very generic mount with this giant suction cup. It just, it just seems like a bit much on your windshield. But either way, it's all here. We're gonna see how it works. All right, so as I alluded to before, about the same size, size as a Garmin. But my only problem as of now is where the hell I put it. The mount for it is freaking massive. So I'm thinking I'm gonna switch the places of the two. Obviously the MM3 on the right and the Garmin. That's another thing. I completely forgot to fit, uh, mention what it actually is. So what I ended up getting was the Smarty MM3 tuned by double R diesel and it's just the light option so I, I didn't need sound tunes I don't I don't really care for all that I'm just looking for performance and fuel economy etc etc and I felt like that was the best bang for the buck of course with that gotta go with the EGR delete throttle valve delete and your DPF SCR all that stuff as well so that's all coming but because it's the first thing that came in uh, out of all the little goodies. Another thing people might want to take into consideration, and yes, I'm holding a light here so you can see me. Um, it's obviously dark as shit at night, and that's just the way it goes in the winter. All right, before I get too carried away, I wanted to explain some things. Uh, it's been a while. I've changed a lot. The setup has changed a lot. 
change places. That's, uh, well, you can't do that. So, life happens. I expect to make more videos in the near future, and I hope you all continue to watch. We'll catch you on the next one when we get the EGR, the uh, throttle valve delete, exhaust, everything like that. And then somewhere in the near future, we'll get it all installed. It's going to be all in-house. Um, I've done a lot of random little install videos, but I think this will be the most in-depth, and it will always be the most in-depth until we do studs and different things like that. But I want to show y'all what it's like, you know, every everyday guy in construction uh, that just wants to do it for the fun of it, just to be able to say I did it and uh, I don't regret it. Of course, I got to pull this big boy around. So that's part of my reasoning. So I can get better economy, fuel economy, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and longevity out of the truck. I mean, it's a nice truck to just to go go to waste with like all the emissions nonsense they have nowadays is pretty stupid so I'm trying to get at least uh, you know my firstborn child into it if that ever happens I'm uh, not really looking forward to that but you know how that goes anyways thanks for watching